स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट साइंस सेशन थ्री चैप्टर नंबर वन हीटिंग एंड कूलिंग एंड टॉपिक इज ट्रांसफर ऑफ हीट देर आर थ्री सब टॉपिक्स कंडक्शन कन्वेक्शन एंड रेडिएशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कंडक्शन ओके वट इज ट्रांसफर ऑफ हीट ट्रांसफर ऑफ हीट मीन थर्मल एनर्जी ट्रांसफर ओके एंड वट इज थर्मल एनर्जी ट्रांसफर लेट मी एक्सप्लेन when heat moving heat is moving from a warmer object to a cooler object it means that this is thermal energy transfer here you can understand as if you have this pan and if you have soup in this so the heat applied through a stove is going to transfer from warmer pan to a cooler soup this is known as thermal energy transfer how heat is transferred there are three ways heat can move conduction convection and radiation and we are going to discuss conduction today what is conduction heat is transferred from one particle of matter to an other in an object this is known as conduction or you can say that the movement of heat through a solid such as metal is called conduction conduction always takes place through the solid material now when this pan is made up of metal and when this pan is get heated through this burner okay this heat will be transferred to this food so this is the transfer of heat or movement of heat through a solid metal this pan okay and this is known as conduction so you can say that the movement of heat through a solid such as metal is called conduction let me tell you again the movement of heat through this solid metal this pan is a solid metal okay to this food is known as conduction conduction mean contact so there is a contact between both of them frying pan and this pan and eggs have you ever touched a metal spoon sitting in a pan of boiling water only to be surprised how hot it is you know class you know um if you have ever tried stirring hot soup in a saucepan with a metal spoon what happens heat energy flows quickly from the soup through the spoon to your finger which soon begin to get hot and this movement of heat through a solid is known as conduction okay what conducts heat better metals or non metals metals because metals are solids now a piece of cheese melts as heat is transfer from meat from the meat to the cheese this there is also contact of hot burger to the cheese so that is why this cheese is melted now conduction of heat molecules in solid objects do not move molecules these molecules will never move actually heat will move so don't get confused what happens in conduction of heat conduction takes place in solid material through the solid material but what happens heat transferred from one particle to other particle okay heat transfer from one place to other place particles never move from one place to an other place so when heat energy travels by conduction the energy is passed from one atom to the next from one atom to the next it is the heat that flows not the heated molecules or not the heated atoms class copper is the best conductor of heat okay all matters conducts heat but copper is the best conductor of heat it conducts heat 10 times better than other uh, iron okay okay class so what is your homework just see this diagram the di this diagram represent the kinetic theory model of a metal now 
is this metal a solid or a liquid how do you know use this particle model to explain how a metal conducts thermal energy okay class hope you understand this lecture take very care of you